This is the uh, Mi Lan Fang Memorial. Hall. <laughs> Mi Lan Fang Memorial Hall. Typical Beijing quadrangle courtyard established in October 1986. Located number 9, Hu Gusi Street, just off uh, Di Meng Sheng Street in the Xi Cheng just district. 1,000 square meters, inscribed board reading, hung on red lacquer gate, written by Deng Xiaoping. Memorial Hall has two parts, the main courtyard and the exhibition hall. The main courtyard, including living room, the study, and the bedroom, is kept in original condition. Exterior yard serves as exhibition hall, using lots of precious pictures to introduce art performances and social activities of Mi Lam Fong. There are also two themes exhi exhibition rooms. It's 10 uh, yuan. So I guess that's the man there. I'm not sure yet who he is and what he stood for. Here's the layout. Start here. I came from uh, Sihuan Market where I slipped on a watermelon rind. It's a filthy market. Introduction Mi Lam Fang, outstanding Chinese traditional opera, Beijing opera artist, grandmaster Chinese traditional drama. Patriot deeply loved his people, dedicated his whole life to the art of Beijing opera. During his stage career for over half a century, he combined the best Beijing opera traditions from the past and adapted them to a new stage to enrich the performance. He constantly sought to improve his artistic skills and created many unforgettable artistic imagery by putting together the best local national operas. He, his performance had excellent acting, singing, and dancing. He turned the Beijing opera into a colorful and comprehensive art at the highest stage. As a result, he formed his original style, which developed into Mi Lam Fang School, a unique school with unique and graceful art characteristics. Created a new path for Beijing opera contemporaries. One of the greatest artists in history of Chinese traditional opera with embodiment of beauty. Mi Lam Fang was a pioneer for introducing Beijing opera to the world. He was, an in, was instrumental in promoting cultural exchanges between China and other countries. Successful tours of Japan, 1919, 24, 56, United States, 1930, Soviet Union, 35, 52. During the tours, he earned international fame and recognition. Furthermore, he popularized Chinese traditional drama among foreign audiences. He also helped foreigners better understand Chinese art and culture. Through his performances and world tours, Beijing Opera obtained world fame and recognition in the foreign stage, the performing art of Chinese theater. Represented by Mi Lam Fang, is re recognized as one of the world's three main contemporary styles of performing art. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, Mi Lam Fang was elected as delegate of the National People's Congress and a member of the Standing Committee of the National Committee of People's Political Consultative Conference. He was also elected as the Vice Chairman of the All China Federation of Literary Art Circles and Dramatist Union. He became President of the Institute of Chinese Opera Research and College of Chinese Opera, as well as Director of National Beijing Opera Theater. Ilan Fong participated in numerous social work and activities. He joined the Chinese Communist Party in 1959 and made significant contributions to the socialist construction of his motherland in his late years. Ilan Fong is the symbol of China's performing art and the pride of his people and nation. Learned hard in Beijing, won fame in Shanghai. Born in 1894. <laughs> His grandfather, Mi Kui, Mi Chao Ling, famous female role actor, a Don, later half of the 19th century. Learned Beijing opera, age of eight, 
debut on the stage at 11. Perform with great master Sheng, the male role actor Tan Shin Pei, 1912, and gradually won the fame as a brilliant actor of Dan Rol Beijing. Performed Shanghai 1913, won applause. Name soon spread all over Shanghai. Born to a family of actors. See the same thing in uh, theater in Japan. The uh, what's the style of theater there where men play the roles? Assume it was because of prostitution that they had the men playing all the m roles. Innovation and reform, leading one of four great Dan actors. Combining best traditions from the past, great amount including, improved a great amount including stage, costume, makeup, playlist, art of Peking opera, gradually matured refined, 1912, new plays and modern dresses, new costumes, wide repertoire, developing his unique Mi Lan Fong school, Shun Tian Times, 1927, launched a selection of China's best female role troupe, 31 Drama Monthly published statistical research comparing four most famous Dan female role. Audience ranked Mi Lan Fong first. Hmm. The makeup of the snake ladies in Legend of the White Snake, Mi Lan Fong made improvements several times in 1930. Future trend of Chinese opera depends on taste to audience and changes in time. I don't want to stand in the way of I don't want to stand in the same old box, constrained and not moving. I want to walk my own path and search for new development. Hmm. Opera with old customs is my new creation. When I first started creating operas, we put a lot of blood and sweat in the design. Kung Chu Opera. Kun Opera, that's what I saw when I was in Jiangsu at, uh, in Suzhou province. Kun Opera performance. They have a museum there of Kun Opera. First Chinese to introduce and perform Chinese opera abroad. People's Diplomacy. The reason why I toured abroad is because I want to introduce Chinese opera to the world and also because I want to learn foreign operas and adapt it to enrich our own cultural art. The U.S. tour. San Francisco. Mayor James R Rolfe Jr. escorted him and a meeting of welcome was held. Governor of Honolulu. Charles Chaplin. Yeah, he met Charlie Chaplin, eh? Mary Pickford. Pomona College gave him an honorary degree, huh? I went to Pomona College recently. They have a nice little art museum there. Last summer. Map of May's World Tour. Soviet Union tour. Paul Robeson in London. Paul Robeson they had in the uh, Song Ching Ling Museum earlier today a photo of him helping out with one of her uh, wartime strategies. Refused to perform and entertain Japanese invaders. Grew his mustache as a weapon. Supported his family and impoverished colleagues by selling his house in Beijing and his paintings. Although life was hard, May fully confident Chinese will persevere to defeat Japanese invaders. Taught his students at home with dignity. When the war ended, he was returned to the stage. Hmm. With his wife and their children, summer 1941, Hong Kong. 
Mi's social activities and awards after the founding of the People's Republic of China. Vice Chairman, All China Federation Literary Art Circles of the Dramatists Union. Delegate, National People's Congress, Standing Committee, National Committee, People's Political Consultative Conference. World Peace Conference, Vienna 52. Director, National Beijing Opera Theater. Hmm. President, Institute of Chinese Opera Research. Visited Japan, 56. Chinese Communist Party, 1959. Last play performed, Mu Guai Ying takes command. August 8, 1961, died of heart disease, age 67. There's Zhou An Lei. Performance tour in China. Inheritance of Mies Art. Graceful, elegant beauty, deeply loved by Chinese foreign audience. Peking Opera. Conclusion as a landmark figure in the art of Peking Opera. Mi Lan Fong dedicated his life to promote and develop Chinese culture and Chinese traditional opera. He left tremendous cultural wealth for future generations. His skills and talent are deeply treasured and loved by the world, and he has become an irreplaceable symbol for Chinese art. Mi Lan Fong's impressive personal works are not only dedicated to the arts, but also dedicated to human beauty and truth, goodness, and beauty, the spirit of perseverance. Even till now, Mi Lan Fong is still greatly respected and loved by the people. buy some souvenirs here. We got some masks. I saw some Peking opera off Fuzhou Road in Shanghai. Didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. It sounds like a uh, truck carrying a bunch of musical instruments crashed into a bird market. Former residents, Mi Lam Fong, lived in these rooms in his late years, including a reception room, a sitting room, a study in Mi's bedroom, which shows simple lifestyle. He's very humble. He's a very humble man. That's it, I guess. Is there another exhibit over here?
Well, now I'll head across uh, to the Prince Gong there. Prince Kong. Garden. Mansion.